Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the browser interface to do common tasks such as live view, playback, and saving video clips. Before we get into that, you should first have downloaded and installed Easy Tools version 2. If you are on our website, we supply security.com, then you can find the software by going to any NVR item page and navigate to the download tab. Here you will find Easy Tools listed on the download section. Go ahead and navigate over to the right where you'll see the download link. Click it and click download on the subsequent page that shows up. If it does not immediately begin downloading, wait until you get to this page and click download anyway. Once you click the button, it should begin downloading. If you specify where your downloads go, save it to your downloads folder or anywhere convenient. Uh, if you don't specify, it will probably show up in your downloads folder by default. Once it is finished, you can use the hyperlink on the side of your download to open the folder. Double click Easy Tools to begin installation. I'm going to go ahead and close these windows just to get them out of the way. It's already installed on my computer, but you would typically have an install button. I'm just going to repair it just to get things showing up on here. Okay, click finish, and then you will get an icon on your desktop. Looks like this. Go ahead and double click it, and it will open the Easy Tools software. All right, once the software is open, go ahead and just locate your NVR. We are going to be modifying the NVR 304-32S. If you click on the icon that looks like a letter E, it will open an internet browser and prompt you to log into your NVR. If this is your first time ever logging in, the default password is 123456. Otherwise, go ahead and enter the password that you created during the wizard step when you originally configured your recorder. The first page you see is Live View. You can click on any of the cameras on the list on the left and you can see them in Stream 2. If you change them to Stream 1 or Mainstream, they will go to High Definition. It's probably best not to open too many of those at one time because it can be resource heavy on your computer. One of the things you can do when you go to mainstream is click on the magnifying or digital zoom function, drag an area that you would like to see, and you can use your mouse to manipulate where this function is zooming in. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out or use the right click to exit out of that mode. Another thing you can do is save snapshots of anything you're looking at by clicking the camera icon. There'll be showing up on these hyperlinks here where you can find them in your computer. Additionally, you can click on the movie clapboard icon to start recording what you're seeing on live view. You click the button once to begin recording and it will continue to record until you click it a second time and then it will export that clip onto your local computer. You can see the hyperlink here. Go ahead and close this and get it out of the way. Next, we'll click on the Playback tab, and you will see a list of all your cameras on the left-hand side. You can click on any one of the cameras, and the calendar at the bottom will illuminate with a red tab in the top corner if there is recording on that day. You can use the drop-down list to change the month, or select any particular day that you want to see recording on, uh, hitting play will bring up a timeline of all of the recorded activity. Once you begin the playback, if you would like to record a section of the video that you are watching, you can use the clipping icon that looks like a pair of scissors. Clicking it one time will begin the recording. You can continue to record until you click it a second time, and that will end the video clip. Clicking the save icon will bring up a menu like this. You can select all of the video clips and hit download to save them to your computer. You'll get an indication in the top right showing you how far along the video is and a hyperlink that will show you the location of the file once it has completed. 
Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to see all of our latest product and how-to videos at WeSupplySecurity.com.